people say to me, oh, I don't have time to make food every day. I, I, I've got a busy life. And that's uh, totally understandable. I'm kind of, you know, I think sometimes we make ourselves busier than we are. Um, but my point is always preparation. Preparation is absolutely key to a healthy body. So on a Sunday, I'll boil up a big pot of brown rice, a big pot of quinoa. I'll boil five or six eggs. I'll get jam jars and I'll put gluten-free oats in them with a little bit of almond milk. I'll put some goji berries in there, maybe a little bit of maca, some superfoods, some chia seeds, make it goes nice and plumpy and some, you know, berries and stuff. And I'll put the lid on the jam jar and I'll make about five or six of those and I'll line them up in the fridge. And so that's breakfast every morning. So you grab a jar of that in the morning. Then you've got your brown rice or your boiled egg or your pre-cooked salmon, your pre-cooked chicken. Make it all on a Sunday. And if you don't have an hour, come off Facebook and Twitter. Just, just social media takes up so much of our time without us even knowing it. You know, we all, you know, we're that zombie nation. We've all got our heads and our phones so much. Um, so your yeah, preparation is key. I'm the friend that all my friends slag off for having food with me all the time. And I really am, like, I have shares in Tupperware. Um, I, d I never take a flight without five or six boxes of pre-packed, just like I'll throw in quinoa and edamame and um, boiled eggs and chicken, whatever it is, I travel with food because ultimately we're going to get hungry every two to three hours and if you don't have food with you or if you don't have access to something that's healthy if you know you're going somewhere that's not going to have healthy food bring it with you let people stare at you it's fine honestly i get stared at in the street so much i eat peppers whole because it you know i love to snack on peppers sometimes and i i've gotten so many weird looks from people i think isn't it weirder to eat a man-made slice of cake with cream on it than to eat a fresh pepper that you know could be an apple don't be embarrassed at all about what people think about how you eat. And ultimately, I think sometimes people almost look at you and think, oh, I wish I had my Tupperware box full of food. So instead of going, go you, they'll go, oh, just live your life. You know, people really find it hard to accept that you prepare stuff. So absolutely, preparation is key. Um, just find a little bit of time and be mindful. But, and nowadays, we've got places like Pure and Crush and even Pret-a-Manger and... Um, Marks and Spencers have started doing those little pots with quinoa and brown rice and eggs and spinach. So it's really accessible nowadays. It really is.